Okay, I'm back again with my another video, which I'm going to show you a tool that how to uh, use a tool. And uh, this tool is pretty cool. Uh, it's known as a power probe, or you call it a circuit tester. Looks something like this. Uh, you can test uh, uh, actuators, such as uh, you can test for ground, you can test for power. I can actuate. Uh, the component, for example, injector, I can actuate a starter motor, I can even do a compression test, uh, I can do a one-man show, uh, I, don't need a, I don't need help from people, uh, I can just uh, go all the way here, which is uh, power, this is ground, alright, so I'm going to do a demonstration on how to use this tool, uh, this would actually speed up your work uh, really quick uh, by doing diagnosis, and uh, let me show you how to do it, all right? So, you have two of this lead, which, uh, which is positive and negative. Of course, if you know, uh, if you study electrical, you understand uh, what is black and red, which is very common to most people. Black is ground, red is uh, positive. So I'm gonna connect this to over here. Black, which, is goes, which goes to ground. Red one goes to battery positive. And I have this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crank the engine. All right. I'm going to crank it by using this tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the relay. So looking at this car, I'm working on a Toyota Vios, the same car. And uh, looking at this uh, relay, which is the starter. You can't see it's not really clear. Uh, the starter relay is over here. All right. ST. Okay. So I'm going to remove the starter relay. Okay, I'm going to remove the starter relay. And uh, as you can see, now it's much clearer, SD. So the relay is over here. So I'm going to remove this relay. I'm going to pop this out. I'm going to pop this out. I'm going to pull this out, all right? Uh, you need to understand relay. relay. This relay is a four pin. They have numerous kind of relays. They have three pin, they have four pin, five pin, six pin. Um, going back to basic about relay. Uh, if you understand relay, if you know the numbers well, most commonly, uh, if I would say it's sanctioned by ISO, uh, it's ISO standards. And uh, all relays have the similar uh, numbers, which is 85, they have 86, they have 87, they have 30. So 85 always goes to ground, 86 goes to ignition switch, 87 goes to the component, whereas 30 goes to direct power, to the battery. So I'm going to verify, I'm going to determine which is 85 and 86. So in order to test the relay, I would just clip one of the pin. I'm not sure which is 85, 86. I will try this one here, one, and then the next one. The moment I see if there is a light, a green light, means it's 85, 86 to my concern. If I switch this up, it will click. You can hear it's clicking, means your relay is good. So if you have 85, 86 over here, either one of these could be 87 or 30 to confirm which is 30. I'm going to do what? I'm going to check. Okay, let, let me go back. All right. This is 85, 86. Okay, this two is 85, 86 over here. 85, 86. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check here. I'm getting a constant a red light here. You see over here, red light. Can you see a red light? You see, there's a light here. This is 30. And I know that the next one, which is right opposite, should be 87. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to apply power to it. So the moment I do that, the engine is going to crank. Let's listen to it. Can you see? I'm cranking the engine. It's kind of cool and um, it saves a lot of time. And this is the quickest method to use this tool. And also, I've forgotten one thing. You can check for power if I'm touching battery positive. You see it's red, this is red, all right, it's turning red. If I touch negative, it's green, means it's ground. So red means power, green means ground, 
and I can apply power to the component, all right? Okay, so I would say um, uh, it's a great tool and uh, you can probably consider of uh, purchasing. Uh, you can buy it in any store, uh, I would say um, stores where they sell tools. And uh, that's it for, for my video. Thank you.